I'm going LSU at Ole Miss uh, for my second game this week. A lot of intrigue for me here in the SEC West because I do think this is an elimination game for Ole Miss when it comes to the SEC West. You got losses, uh, obviously the loss to Alabama. If you lose here, your, you know, your second loss in league play, still have to play Georgia coming up. Hard to come back from three losses. So I think if you're Ole Miss, not only do you need to win to stay alive in the SEC West, but I think after seeing how vulnerable Alabama was coming into this year and sort of Lane's sort of demeanor of confidence, and then they get beat by 14 points. I think for for him and for Ole Miss, it'd be good to bounce back, obviously, and get this win. But I think to, to two things, I think the matchups here, I think when you look kind of where Ole Miss has been, Quinshaw Judkins is off to a slow start. He's had some injuries, but the offensive line has struggled, and it's putting Jackson Dart in a lot of third and longs. Um, he was one of seven for four yards on third down against Alabama last week. So this game all comes back to one thing. Can Ole Miss get Quinshot Judkins on track? Can the offensive line play better? This LSU front is very good. Mm -hmm. And then how do you defend Jaden Daniels and this LSU passing game right now? Because he has been red hot uh, in that Mississippi State game and last week against Arkansas. So I think an important backs against the wall kind of game for Ole Miss on Saturday. Yeah, I think the stakes are pretty clear. I think you laid that out. Ole Miss loses. Their season could crumble quickly. The schedule is difficult. I am curious how that attitude is inside the facility right now. Lane Kiffin is kind of a volatile personality, especially outwardly, maybe not inwardly. You know, the star running back's not productive. The run, the offensive line's not helping. You've got a defensive coordinator who is very volatile. I just am curious what's happening behind the scenes in, in Oxford and in Ole Miss. Um, and what a loss would do to them mentally, I, I don't know. Again, I think that that's just the stakes. I do think Jackson Dart has the tools, the weaponry. I know some of the offensive pieces have been have been injured, but I think they absolutely can go down the field and attack the, the weakness for LSU. But can you do it if you're going to be completely one-dimensional? Because there's they have proven that they cannot run the football full stop. They can't do it against Tulane. They could certainly couldn't do it against Bama. And I don't think they're going to be able to do it against LSU. So can Jackson Dart do something spectacular, pull something out of his hindquarters on fourth and three like he did against Tulane and win a game? Maybe. Vegas certainly is telling you that they think Ole Miss is going to play very well in this football game at home. On the flip side, you mentioned it. LSU feels like they are in stride now. The offense, while, while Arkansas played much better and attacked their secondary, which is the concern for LSU, I, Thomas and neighbors were awesome down the field in one-on-one -on -one situations. They were not wide open like the South Carolina Mississippi State game. They actually made plays on the football. And Jaden Daniels is in the zone right now. I mean, they are on the verge of going 3-0 and in the SEC West and doing it with what probably is going to be three very impressive offensive showings. And I'm not saying that Arkansas and Mississippi State and Ole Miss are like the premier programs, but, but Arkansas and Ole Miss were supposed to be kind of, all right, can they challenge? How good can they be? And, and LSU is going to start three and zero potentially if they go into o Oxford and win this weekend. So I, I think I think it's a high scoring game. I think it's a shootout, and I think LSU makes a couple more plays in the fourth quarter. I think they win the game, but I would not gamble on it because I think Vegas is begging you to take LSU with that two and a half point spread. I, I think to to your point, o Ole Miss I think can make some plays on LSU secondary. Everybody is, yeah. But I think at some point, Mason Smith. Harold Perkins, yep. that defensive front for LSU will make just enough plays late to to win this game. I, I think J Jackson Dart's tough, man. That dude takes a hit. He gets up, talk, talks that ish. I like it. Um, but I, I have a feeling he's not going to have much help. How about this? Get your superstar tailback involved in the game in other ways. I mean, you're Lane Kiffin. You're the offensive wizard. Find a way to get him the ball. I know he's been a little banged up. Find a way to Give him space to operate. It's not other teams do it all the time. <laughs> why? Why? Lane Kiffin should be able to do it. Uh, Using I'll, your best offensive player. What a thought, huh? I, yeah, I, I know. Uh, I like uh, I like LSU, but that's not a. I mean, I'm I'm picking every favorite basically this week, so I would not be surprised uh, if Ole Miss plays a very inspired football game. The question is, if they play a really good game and then they lose, what is the mental situation inside that facility? after the game and next week I'm because this schedule is hard. They still got Georgia, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> this schedule is hard for Ole Miss.